Welcome to Dream Guitars. We got a lesson coming up today. We're going to learn how to play the Tennessee Waltz, or my version of it at least. Uh, before I get into that, I want to tell you a little bit about the guitar I'm playing today. Of course, this is Dream Guitars, so it's about the guitars. Uh, this is brand new. This has had strings on it for about three or four days, I guess now. Um, this is mine. This is my Ken Hooper. It's Red Spruce Top, Smokey's Top at that. Um, and it's got the tree mahogany back and sides. And I'll try to turn this slow so that get some of the glare off of it. Maybe you can get a look at it as it goes around. Some of take some of the glare off, but uh, but it's your basic mahogany guitar. <laughs> Ebony, maple, trim, binding, purfling, and uh, bone pins. Mario approved pick guard for me. And uh, like I said, it's, I just picked it up a few days ago, so it's brand spanking new. So there you have it. And uh, you can look for an article on this that'll be out soon in the Fretboard Journal as well on this guitar and, and uh, Ken Hooper, the builder. So be looking for that. Tennessee Waltz. I chose that particular song for the reason, I know a lot of you probably play the song. A lot of people sing that song, so... And the reason I chose it is um, on the way here this morning, I was trying to think of something to teach about. And I've noticed lately a lot of my students have, several of them have the same problem. So we've been working on this. Uh, and I call it the economy of motion. I'm sure that's not an original phrase. But uh, I see them lifting their fingers too far off the fretboard and using different fingering positions and what have you that just make things difficult. And I think what I decided to do was use this song as an example of, of a way, one of the ways that you can uh, get around some of that. Um, and, uh, and to put it simply, you play within the chord shape or in the chord position. In this case, it's a C position. Um, and, you know, you can play the melody as well as the chords just using short strums, kind of like the, the Maybell style, style uh, in a way, just variations. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with it and I'll walk you through it real slow. Um, in the C position, I'll start off with a, this is, this is the melody. Instead of hitting just that note, I hit a strum so it's more like. Again, and I'm just doing a, I'm following a bass line walk, if you will, to the seventh. So it's the. a C7 to a F. Now when I play these chords, I may or may not play every string of the chord. That's something I'm going to let you pick that off of the video. You can slow it down, back it up, whatever you need to. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to give you the chords and, and you can hear the melody notes within those chords, hopefully. Uh, so there's where you go from the seventh. You notice the whole time I played that, this particular finger, my first finger, stayed right where it never ever left that place. Except for the E minor. And then it's immediately right back down, but it's still right there in position. Using my little finger for that note. And the next.
particular D minor that I'm using, it's not a true D minor, but it's, you know. So I'm just playing the F chord without that. I'm playing the D root to a G7th. And that's what I'm using in the place of a G7th. And that sets me up for the second part, which is identical to the first for the most. Can do variations around that as long as you're still holding that basic shape which is what I'm doing so now what I like to do uh, when it goes to the F instead of hitting the straight melody it's, it's, uh, which would be I do a little roll into it just something a little add to so it's cross-picking piece and the whole time I'm keeping my fingers and my hand in the position for the most part you have to move a finger out of the way occasionally but you try to keep it as close to the fretboard as you can and be aware of that that'll help you so that's the first part and the bridge the only difference really when the bridge is it sets up for a, a E seventh so it's G seventh. Back to the F. A seven, uh, A minor. To the D minor. G seventh. And then it's back to the first part. It's pretty simple. It just stays around the chords. The, the notes are right there. So it should be pretty easy for you to get. You can slow that down. It's already a slow song. So you shouldn't have any problem with it, I hope. There you go. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs>